Look, don't get me wrong, the Unreal Engine vehicle template is amazing. However, there's one thing missing, and that is sound. But don't worry, because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a dynamic engine sound to your vehicle in Unreal Engine. By the way, I created this level by simply applying world aligned materials to the vehicle example map. Uh, so if you want to learn more about that, I have a video on that too, it's probably on the right corner right now. The first thing you'll have to do is make sure that you have the sound I put in the description downloaded and ready to use inside your project. And don't forget to open your sound in your content browser and check the checkbox looping. This is extremely important because otherwise this, uh, the sound will just play once and not repeat. Next you're gonna navigate to the folder vehicle template, go to blueprints, into sports car and then double click on sports car pawn. Once you're in the blueprint editor you're gonna go to add and then audio. You can call this whatever you want, uh, I'm gonna call it engine just so uh, we know what it is and uh, you can move this I like to move it uh, around here, but it's really totally up to you where you move the sound. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, but what does make a difference uh, is you have to, of course, choose the sound. And now we can go to the event graph. Uh, probably we should compile this first. So hit compile, save and go to the event graph. So if you're using a newer version of Unreal Engine, uh, like 5.3 that I'm using currently, uh, then you will see that this is completely empty. Uh, if you're using an older version, it's gonna look something more like this, because uh, in the newer version they moved all the code uh, to a parent class. Uh, so if you can see, so if you look here, you can see parent class, and that is this one. So um, if you're working with an older version, you will just have to navigate to event tick and all the code that I'm gonna do, uh, you're gonna do it after this node. Um, but we're gonna do it inside um, the sports car pawn um, since, who knows, maybe we need multiple vehicles and we want them to have different sounds. Uh, it's not very practical to have it in the uh, parent class because you can't change it in the uh, different child classes. First thing we're gonna create, um, we're gonna look for tick um, and we're gonna add, add an event tick. Um, after that we are gonna add a set pitch multiplier and it will already recommend uh, the pitch multiplier uh, with the context of our engine sound. So. We don't need to worry about that, that's very nice. Um, but to get values for your pitch multiplier, you will need some data from the vehicle movement component. And we're gonna get that by looking for engine rotation. And it should be somewhere like, no. Sometimes you need to uncheck context sensi uh, sensitive to find it and uh, yes this is exactly what we need um, because this will basically give us the engine rotation speed um, which is more or less directly linked to the pitch of uh, the engine sound in real life so uh, we can just take this and when we plug this in here uh, I'm gonna add a, a print note so we can kind of like keep track of the numbers we're working with. Uh, oh yeah, like this. Um, let's hit com... Wait, what's... Oh, yeah. Don't forget that this needs a target. And uh, you're gonna you look for chaos. Gonna go all the way to the bottom and you're gonna choose get chaos wheeled vehicle movement component. Like this. And now if we compile it should be all clear so save and um, if we now test this then we will see this is not really the effect that we're going for as you can see at the left we get 
are the numbers we're getting are way too high so we're gonna have to do some number magic to take care of that we just saw that this note gives us values between 900 and 7000 however for our pitch multiplier we need values roughly between 0.5 and maybe like 3 or 4 Personally, I got really good results dividing the values by 3200 and then adding 0.2 But you can just play around and find what's best for your project And now if we try it out, it should sound a lot better Yes, as always, I hope you liked the video. I hope uh, you learned something and um, if you want to support me, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's 100% free, uh, and, but it really helps me out. And yeah, I hope that I see you in the next video. Um, and until then, bye bye.